Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Bog Death Grip Tripod. This is the aluminum version and I'm, I'm really excited to get to this review so uh, stay tuned. Alright guys, so today we are going to be doing a review of the Bog Death Grip Tripod. And this is a tripod you'd use for like pretty much any type of hunting. Um, this is an exclusive hunting tripod. I've done reviews on my channel of camera tripods that I've used for hunting and other things. But this is an exclusive hunting tripod and um, this is made by Bog. They do different tripods. This is the Death Grip though. Um, it clamps to your rifle. So you can pick this up on Amazon for about $125 and this is the aluminum version. And you can also buy a more expensive version that's uh, made out of carbon fiber. The legs are carbon fiber. Which is supposedly to make it lighter but I don't really know if it's really worth the extra hundred and some dollars that you pay for it. So um, let's get right into how to set this thing up and how to get your rifle on it and how much, how much weight will it really take. To set this thing up it should be pretty simple. You just unlatch the bottoms. Uh, down here at the legs you can set your angle you want your legs at so it'll do 20 45 and 85 so 20 would be like if you want it in a standing position 45 would be maybe a sitting position and 85 would be if you want it more on like a prone position all right so it should be pretty simple you just set what you want and you just move them across you don't have to force them or anything and then you just bring them out and uh Set your legs to whatever height you want. This thing will get pretty tall. Oh, and one thing I did forget to mention, at the end of these legs, they have they have stakes for whether or not you're going into soft ground or hard ground. So we're we're out here in the middle of a field, so we'll we'll put the stakes in. And we'll extend it out. Super simple, super smooth. It's not too heavy either. It is very bulky, but like all other hunting tripods, the one hunting tripod that I used for um, coyote hunting that I killed my first coyote with, it was exactly like this. And I think it just comes with the stability of it. I don't think it's anything you can get around. Um, camera tripods will be lighter and more easy to maneuver, but you also lose the strength that you get with this tripod. So as you can see, we have it up here. It's all on the 20 setting. And this is as tall as it'll get. And I'm six foot. And it, I mean, it comes right up to me. So this is perfect, really. Um, and I'm sure if you were a little bit taller, I don't think many people are above six five, you could definitely get on this pretty easily. All right. So to mount, this one right here will turn your up and down. This maneuver right here. And it also has a level. This one right here will rotate, lock your rotations. And then this one over here on this side will adjust to your rifle. So we're going to put a six millimeter in here, which is an incredibly heavy gun. It has a massive vortex scope on it and it's probably the heaviest thing you will put on this tripod and we'll see how well it'll hold it. So here we have a Ruger six millimeter. It has bipod, it has everything you'll need in it. So let's tighten her down. So as you can see, it holds the Ruger like a pro. I don't think you can ask much more from a hunting tripod than being able to hold a rifle level, especially something so heavy. So I mean, this will definitely take care of your AR-10s and any of your heavier rifles that you'd be using for like hog hunting or bigger predators. I mean, that's really impressive. And you can do, oh, wrong one. You can rotate it down and up. And it's incredibly smooth when you move it too. It takes no effort. So you get on it, you get what you want in target, and you lock her down. And she's ready to go. And what I've noticed about other hunting tripods and what I like to do is I don't like to lock these things down all the way. I like to get it to where they're 
they're tight but they're not incredibly tight so you can still you can get on your target and look at what you're looking at but you can still move ever so slightly by still maintaining some some stability so I don't like to lock it down all the way when I'm when I'm actually on a target but when you're just sitting here and say you have your thermal monocular up and you're just looking around I'll hold your gun ready and I mean it's a pretty sweet little deal so I want to show you guys some footage of me shooting um, the first set of footage is we're going to be at 100 yards and I have a 223 on it and we're shooting at a gong and uh, I hope I got GoPro footage of it but um, I'll let y'all see it now Man, that's money. That is sweet. All right, Hunter, cameraman, you're gonna have to give it a go. You say you had to aim a high? Yeah, just aim at the top of the gong. Top of the gong, Dave. All right, Tom Bob, give her, give her a go. You got three in there. Just very top of the bong, gong. nice sweet. I know it's pretty sweet ain't it all right guys so as you saw we were shooting the uh, 223 off this bog tripod and I mean it it handles the gun great you can there's no felt recoil but it's a 223 so you don't really feel recoil anyway but it also holds your gun really really steady you have no like movement or anything I mean it, it locks it down great so then now we're going to back it up to 300 yards and I'm going to be shooting my Grindle off of it. And the Grindle's a lot heavier than the 223. It weighs more, it has a longer rail on it, it has a bigger barrel on it, and it's just considerably heavier of a gun. And we're going to shoot that at 300 yards. And I'll also be prone while shooting it. I'll be shooting it on the 45 degree leg setting. Alright, it's recording. Alright, so we are out here at 300 yards. I have the Grindle and I'm not quite sure if the GoPro is still recording down there, but we're going to try to hear ring that dong out here at a uh, gong dong gong gong dong at uh at 300 yards so let's give her a go ammo right there I think that thing's pretty sweet Tom I think you did very good very sturdy very sturdy so why is it you can't hit a hole I didn't see any holes that's right <laughs> y'all didn't get choose any issues all right guys, so as you saw, the uh, the tripod did great, especially at the sitting position. I thought the sitting position was a lot better than the standing position, but that might just be a personal preference. Um, not everybody is up for sitting or standing, it's just whatever you feel is best for you. But I did like sitting personally better than the, um, than the standing position. All right guys, so that basically does it for the review and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really like this Bog tripod and I think Bog did a great job with it now to reiterate myself this is the bog death grip link will be in the description down below to uh, go check it out on Amazon like I said before it was hundred and twenty five dollars and I definitely think you're getting your money's worth out of this especially compared to like the hog saddle which is like a three hundred dollar tripod head and it's not even the whole tripod um, so I, I definitely think it's worth the money and I definitely think it'd be a good investment if you're a avid outdoorsman or a hunter that spends a lot of time outside and shooting so i think that about does it guys i appreciate everybody for watching it means a ton please go down and subscribe we're doing really good on subscribers right now we just went over 500 and let's get our way up to a thousand i love making this content for you guys and it means the world to me for the people that support me but as always guys i really appreciate it and take someone outdoors i'll see y'all next time <laughs>